In this video, we will try to solve a problem that was asked by a person, Ikram John. The question is like this. Uh, the demand function for good x is being given as uh, qx is equal to 1200 minus 1 upon 2px plus 1 upon 4py minus 8pz plus 1 upon 10m. Where px is price of good x, this is price of good y, this is price of good z and m is the average individual uh, income of the consumer. Okay. And if price of good Y is $5,900, price of good uh, Z is 90 we have to find uh, whether the good Y and Z are substitutes or complements for good X, okay? So, we have to trace the relationship between, okay? This is our demand function, okay? Here, if you can uh, observe to see, let us uh, take good Y, okay? So, let's take good Y. Okay, there are two methods you can uh, compare whether they are whether this uh, good y is substitute or complement for good x or not. Okay, simple thing is if you just observe the coefficient of uh, this price of y, the coefficient of uh, this py is 1 upon 4, which is positive. Okay, which is positive. Sorry, so I can write the coefficient of py is 1 upon 4 which is positive okay which implies that means good x and y are substitutes okay why they are substitutes simply <clears throat> if price of good y increases quantity demanded for good x will also increase because there is positive relationship between quantity demanded of good x and the price of good y okay since we got the positive value here we can say that x and y are substitutes another method is we just take the partial derivative of this demand function with respect to price of y that means uh, another met method to find whether they are substitutes or complement us take the partial derivative that means d q x upon d p y okay taking partial derivative with respect to p y since we have only in this term p y involved and uh, the derivative of all other terms will be obviously zero okay so taking derivative of p y comes out to be one so we are left with one upon four which is positive number okay that means there is positive relationship between quantity demanded of good x and price of good y so we can say they are substitutes okay by substitutes what we mean here we simply mean if price of a good y increases quantity demanded of good x let me write it like this dx there uh, so let me write it simply quantity demanded of good x will also increase okay and this is being showed by the positive coefficient of py in the demand equation okay so this was for good y and let us see for good x okay so for good x sorry for good z so for good z okay so here you can easily observe the coefficient of pz is negative okay so coefficient of pz is a minus 8 here okay which is negative which we can say we can safely say that x and z that means good x and z are complements okay complements okay and if we use this partial derivative method so what we will have to do we have to just take partial derivative of quantity q x with respect to the price of z and c so since we have only one choice variable that is this very term where our pz is involved so other the derivative of other terms will be obviously zero what is the derivative of pz it comes out to be minus 8 which is negative okay so we can say that when we get 
the derivative of demand function with respect to pz is negative we say that x and z are complements okay i hope you know what i mean by complements by complements we mean a car and petrol okay these are complements if uh, price of uh, petrol increases okay quantity demanded of cars will decrease okay by substitutes we mean tea and coffee whatever you call i'm just giving the brute examples here okay so if uh, price of uh, coffee increases quantity demanded of t will increase okay so this is these are the substitutes these are the complements okay and how do we find out how do we find out whether they are uh, substitutes or complements we just need either to look at the coefficient of the prices okay prices of good x and y and if they are positive or negative we can easily uh, comment whether they are substitutes or complements okay so if there is positive relationship between so if there is positive relationship we say they are the substitutes if there is negative relationship we say they are the complements uh, with good x obviously in this case okay so this was for first question now we have to find out our second question is second question tells us is x inferior or normal okay how do we how do we measure whether a good is uh, inferior or normal okay so to see whether good x is normal or inferior for that we just need to take the partial derivative of q this demand function with respect to income okay that means with respect to m so since in first second third fourth term there is no m involved uh, their derivative will be zero the derivative of m is here one so we are left with one upon ten okay that means we got a number which is positive when there is positive relationship between quantity demanded uh, and income we say the good is uh, what we call a normal one okay so there is positive relationship between uh, income and quantity demanded of good x okay and graphically how do we uh, uh, show it if we take income on this axis and quantity demanded of good axis uh, good x on uh, this axis okay so we will get a line like this okay so we would have a positive slope that means if income increases quantity demanded also increases okay so we can say the good is normal okay if we got a negative number here if we got a negative value here then we could have said that the good is inferior okay that means if income increases quantity demand decreases in that case we say the good is inferior so in this case we can write uh, if this implies uh, this thing implies if uh, income of the individual increases quantity demanded of good x will also increase so there is positive relationship here okay uh, between quant income and quantity demanded of good x i hope uh, i am making myself clear so this was about the second question third question tells us how many units of good x will be purchased when price of x is 4910 for that what we need to do we just need to uh, write this demand function okay what is our demand function qx qx is equal to we have 1200 1200 minus so what is the question how many units of good x will be purchased when price of x is four thousand nine hundred ten dollars we just need to plug this p of x in this equation okay in uh, here we write the price and here we give the values of px py sorry or uh, py and pz in this equation and also we give the value of m in this equation to see 
the units of good x will be purchased okay so just plugging these values here so what will what will we get here so we have 1200 minus 1 upon 2 price of x is being given us 494910 okay uh, plus 1 upon 4 price of good y is being given us 595900 uh, plus sorry we have the minus sign now minus 8 price of z is being given us is 90 uh, plus 1 upon 10 and income average in, uh, income of the consumer is 55000 dollars okay now if we solve this thing out i have no space left here so this will come out to be um, i have calculated it and this came out to be something uh, 5000 okay i have calculated this this came out to be 5000 that means uh, units of good x that will be purchased when price of x is forty four thousand nine hundred ten dollars is equal to five hundred units five thousand units okay so this was for part third now part four tells us determine the demand function and inverse demand function for the good x okay so fourth part is we have to determine the demand function okay how can we find the demand function just give the value of py pz and income okay and we will see these all things will uh, have a numerical value and we add up uh, that very thing with this 1200 to get the demand function okay so demand function that means qd will be equal to 1200 1200 minus 1 upon 2 price of x uh, plus 1 upon 4 price of y is 4910 plus 1 upon 4 sorry this is 1 upon 2 so actually it is 1 upon 4 1 upon 4 <clears throat> am i doing the calculation right or not i i hope i am not making some horrendous mistakes so let me rub this out okay so we have 1 upon 2 price of x just give the value uh, uh, what we call the uh, price of x and price of sorry price of y and price of z the values which are being given us in the question so we have this very term here then we have 1 upon 4 into 5900 minus 8 into this is 90 here okay 90 plus 1 upon 10 5 5 okay when you solve these very things okay you will get qx or qx is equal to 7 4 5 5 minus 1 upon 2 px okay this is the demand function for good x okay how do we calculate this we just gave the py and pz their numerical values and solved it for q to get the demand function for good x okay now to find the inverse demand function how do we find the inverse demand function this is our demand function okay this is our demand function to find inverse demand function we just need to solve this very equation for uh, price okay so we can write it like this if we transpose here it will become positive so we have 1 upon 2 px is equal to 7 4 5 5 minus qx okay or px is equal to multiplying this to each of these terms so this will become 14910 minus 2 into qx is 2qx okay this is called the inverse demand function when we solve this demand function for uh, price we get the inverse demand function okay now we were told to graph this out also so we can also graph this okay let me draw the graph 
we have quantity of good x here we have price of good x here okay how do we grab this we just need to two pointers uh, to draw the uh, demand function okay so how can we do this first let px is equal to zero if px is equal to zero okay if this thing is zero then which implies uh, if this thing is zero so we have one four nine one zero minus two q x is equal to zero solving for q x that means two q x is equal to one four nine one zero which implies x is equal to one four nine one zero upon two okay this is q here q x okay so when we solve this will come out to be this comes out to be uh, 7 4 5 5 okay when px was 0 okay when we have px 0 qx was 7 4 5 0 0 so we have this point let us say 7 4 5 double 0 okay similarly to get another point what will we do we just uh, put this qx is equal to 0 so this will become uh, 2 into 0 is 0 that means px is equal to this very thing 14910 that means our other point will be 14910 okay joining these two points gives us the demand function okay so if you are getting confused let me draw it again okay to make it clear to you how do we calculate the demand function okay so we were being given px is equal to 14910 minus 2qx okay we need to find out two pointers to draw the demand function how do we do this first we put put px is equal to 0 in this equation which implies 14910 minus 2qx is equal to 0 which implies 2qx is equal to 14 nine one zero or qx is equal to one four nine one zero upon two which comes out to be seven four five double okay seven four five five actually okay i'm not sure about the seven four five five okay you can check whether i have done the calculation right or wrong okay so we got two pointers uh, that means px is equal to 0 qx is equal to 7 4 5 5 okay and this is being let me draw this graph also again okay so we have qx here price of x here okay this is point zero here okay when price of x is zero we are here q of x is seven four five five that means we are here something okay so seven four five five we got one point similarly to get another point we will now put this qx is equal to zero put qx is equal to zero in this equation which implies px is equal to one four nine one zero minus two into zero which implies px is equal to 14910 okay so we again got two pointers that means px is equal to this and qx is equal to zero okay what is our new point we have qx is zero so we don't need to run along this line so we are here and px is equal to 14910 let us say this point denotes this 14910 okay joining these two pointers gives us the demand function I hope I make myself clear in this video. If you like this.